Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes on this Saturday evening, the 5th of August. And just want to remind you tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. is our Sunday morning Joe and Joe weather show. And mark it down because we're going to be talking about uh, a rather strong system that's going to be coming into the east on Monday. And it looks like we could see a, a busy day when it comes to severe weather and even some tornado risk in uh, part from the northeast. Uh, all the way down into the southeast and back through the uh, Appalachians. So uh, tune in tomorrow, uh, 7.30, which is Sunday, 7 th uh, 11 a.m. Eastern time for the Joe and Joe Weather Show. And in fact, I'm going to start uh, with the Storm Prediction Center's uh, forecast. First off, uh, what's going on this evening, uh, rather busy. We've got two working tornado watches up. One in uh, north northeast uh, ne uh, Nebraska uh, and into South Dakota and western Iowa. The other has just popped up uh, covering much of central and southern Indiana. You can see where the risk areas are, not just in those two areas, but also we have enhanced risk for severe weather from Oklahoma northwestward, uh, west northwestward into Colorado. Now, this is a vigorous system that is moving eastward and we don't see uh, anything uh, for tonight obviously in the northeast and mid-atlantic states all the way down to south carolina no thunderstorms are expected when i show you the radars you'll see is not really much going on but uh, the extended area of risk to the west is reflecting a weather system moving eastward now for sunday we're looking at a marginal risk Western Pennsylvania, Western Virginia, uh, down into Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi. And we've got a fairly large area of slight risk uh, covering the Ohio and Tennessee Valley. And that is going to come with an area of 2% tornado risk for parts of uh, southwest Indiana, central and southern Illinois, and eastern Missouri. Monday is a day where we're going to have to pay attention here. Uh, in the northeast and this is the forecast that they when they do the day three forecast at SPC they do it early in the morning and they don't really update it uh, during the day today but uh, certainly to see them put a slight risk in a large area from western New Jersey to the Catskills and southern New York uh, all the way southward uh, to the southern Appalachians, uh, northern Georgia, northern Alabama. Uh, they've got it on the day three. It's a pretty good bet that we're going to see this area probably expanded a bit. They indicated that on their discussion and also mentioned the possibility that there could be a few tornadoes. I'm just going to read you a, a quote. Uh, the forecaster opted to continue the broad slight risk area with this outlook. However, higher severe weather probabilities may ultimately, ultimately be warranted for portions of the, the area. And he's referring to uh, the area uh, in the east he says, as, as the small scale or the mesoscale details come into better focus tomorrow and Monday. So they're going to have a better idea on this uh, tomorrow. But judging from what I see in terms of uh, what's going on in the uh, in the atmosphere, uh, it does look like we have the potential uh, for some uh, a, 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 as I said earlier, let's call it a busy, severe weather day for Monday. Meanwhile, uh, this afternoon, it's been a bit of a struggle to get the dry air in. The dew points are in the upper 50s, uh, mainly across northern New Jersey, uh, eastern Pennsylvania, maybe down to about Philadelphia from there northward. But you go south of there. Uh, dew points are still running pretty high. In some areas, they're running uh, in southern New Jersey, still in the upper 60s to around 70, uh, because this frontal boundary has been uh, kind of stubborn. It's just sitting there offshore. The same holds for play areas in eastern Long Island, when I, where I noticed that the dew points there were running in the mid to upper 60s, while it's much lower as you head uh, west and northwest through upstate New York and into New England and into northern Pennsylvania. So we, we thought that this air mass that was going to come down for this weekend was going to have a tougher time spreading dry air southward and that it was only going to get uh, further south and it's certainly playing out that way uh, we uh, are, are not really seeing much in the way of issues other than the fact that there there have been clouds high clouds streaming eastward from all the thunderstorm activity to the west a lot of the clouds are, are getting blown off and moving uh, eastward in the flow so that also helped to hold the temperatures down just a little bit today and masking some of the sunshine uh, seeing lightning strikes going on 
uh, in parts of western Tennessee, over into Illinois and Indiana, also in parts of South Dakota, and scattered around uh, uh, on the Florida panhandle, uh, and in uh, a couple of uh, cells going on over the uh, southern part of Florida, but nothing really that stands out. And you can see on the radar here in the northeast, it's quiet. Northern Maine's got some showers. Uh, here is your heavy weather tonight. Moving out of Illinois and into Indiana, we actually have at this time at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, two working tornado warnings there and a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings in western Tennessee. Uh, also seeing some severe thunderstorm warnings and special marine warnings uh, in the Florida panhandle. Uh, the uh, Dakotas, uh, and you notice there's this comma-shaped swirl there. Uh, that's a short wave, and uh, that's going to be moving uh, eastward, and that's going to be the trigger mechanism for the severe weather Sunday. And to the to our wet well to our west and the severe weather that I think we could see here in the eastern part of the U.S. on Monday. Rainfall amounts this week could be cause problems. So we have uh, flash flood potential in parts of the plains, uh, as well as parts of the Ohio, Mississippi, and Missouri River Valley. Marginal to slight risk also along the Gulf Coast and the Florida Panhandle. Now tomorrow, that risk area is going to expand a bit in the east. You see the area, large area of marginal risk. Uh, this goes into Monday morning, by the way. So uh, where you see the marginal risk in New Jersey to about New York City and in the Hudson Valley, west of the Hudson, that could be for some showers or a thunderstorm that we might see later Sunday night, early Monday morning as a warm front tries to clear the area and then sets us up for the cold front later in the day. And this is why when we look at the risk for flash flooding on Monday, we actually have a fairly large area of slight risk. That's 15 to 40 percent possibility of flash flooding uh, for the eastern half of Pennsylvania, uh, much of New Jersey, down into northern Delaware and Maryland, and also uh, upstate New York, except western New York, Vermont, western Massachusetts and Connecticut, New Hampshire, uh, into western Maine. And rainfall amounts over the next seven days actually rather robust in the northeast and northern and mid-Atlantic states away from the immediate coast. We're looking at inch and a half to some areas, three inches or more. Again, this is over seven days. And of course, with convection, uh, it could certainly, uh, some local areas could wind up seeing double those amounts. Same holds for the Ohio and Tennessee Valley down into uh, Alabama, Georgia. Uh, you're seeing uh, amounts of uh, two and a half inches or more in the darker reds, also extending northwestward back through parts of Illinois and Iowa. And we've got half to three quarter inch rainfall amounts being indicated uh, in the northern Rockies. So first off, just to give you an idea here with what's going on, at least with the dew points, because this is going to set us up for Monday. Uh, this was third, earlier this week. We had that delightful air, and of course, it did pull out on uh, Friday. The dew points came up. We had a cold front that uh, came through. Most of the thunderstorms were really well. In fact, all, just about all of the thunderstorms were uh, at well inland. Uh, here's that dry air mass for today, which really had a tough time. In the green is where dew points are in the 50s, and we don't see that sort of strong push all the way south. It kind of got hung up uh, in the northern half of New Jersey and points northward, and it's going to be there tonight and Sunday. Uh, again, most of it is going to be north and northeast in terms of the driest air, particularly in New England. And then the dew points start shooting up Sunday night and Monday as a warm front goes by. We're going to see dew points climb up into the 70s Monday afternoon, a very unstable atmosphere to deal with. And that is going to mean that we're going to see some showers and uh, thunderstorms that are going to roll on through. I'll uh, run the GFS, which is actually pretty vigorous here. Uh, again, nothing tomorrow. Then you see these showers to the west tomorrow night. They'll come through during the overnight. That's the warm front going by. And you have this low in northern Illinois. It's a vigorous system. And uh, by uh, Monday evening, uh, you have a, a setup here with the warm sector uh, moving up into uh, upstate New York and New England. And then the trailing cold front that's going to drop southward. And all in this zone here is where we see uh, the risk for showers and thunderstorms and severe weather. So expect the storm. I think the storm prediction, set, prediction center is going to do two things. I think it's going to expand the area of severe weather risk for Monday. And I think tomorrow I wouldn't be at all surprised if we see an area of enhanced risk 
being indicated. So we'll be looking for that. Uh, once that front goes by, we've got the upper trough to deal with on Tuesday. So you see showers swinging through the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states on, on Tuesday. Maybe another chance for a thunderstorm. Uh, Wednesday looks good. Thursday looks okay. And then uh, later Thursday, Thursday night, we've got another weather system to deal with, uh, with some uh, chance for showers and thunderstorms Thursday night. Looks like a little wave goes by. And then another cold front will approach probably on Saturday, a week from today, with the chance for showers and thunderstorms. So now we can sort of understand why uh, WPC's got uh, the flash flood risks up and uh, also the robust rainfall amounts that they're indicating. And again, look for some changes in the forecast tomorrow. Uh, so be sure to tune in at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern time on uh, Sunday morning for the Joe and Joe Weather Show. If you missed the show live, you can always watch it on the replay on my YouTube channel. Have a great uh, rest of your evening and a great rest of your weekend.